Hello everyone, welcome back to Meow Ying and Seitang. And we're about to finally just end Loki Felhart. They do have, still have an army with, I think, a bolt thrower right outside, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do any harm with that, so this should be their last stuff. And uh, once we've done this, we can finally start pushing towards Archeon and Kolek, because both of those should be just marching through the Chaos Waste towards us, so... It's gonna be fun to see when they come, but I don't want to lose my halberds here, so we're just gonna fight this. So, um... Man, why are all these maps so lumpy? <laughs> I guess this is fine. We can sit right there, just move these out of the way. Alright, we got the drum! <laughs> ah, silly drum. Uh, let's just try to cover as much ground as possible. You should probably be more central though. Yeah, let's do like that. You'll lower enemy leadership. There we go. Oops. Dang it. I'm having all kinds of con control problems today. Uh, they'll be like that. Good. And I guess we can just crowd both of these gunners up here. We'll uh, park you there, but we'll put you on the ground, because I need you to stop any any character who tries to walk through. We can put you there as well, and you'll just shoot through that gap. We'll hang up back there. Got a couple of these, and these. Just put you there. Hopefully they'll shoot at you, because you got shields. So, group one. Oh, right, the drum! Um, I guess that hits a lot of stuff. And I guess you give, yeah, you give yin and yang to everything. So that's gonna, that's gonna buff our cannons and give all of this harmony. That's gonna be, that's actually a really nice. There we go. And uh, it'll be group one. Why not? Oh, right. You got a bird. Oh shit, I've got train gunners. <laughs> uh, just put them up there. That's gonna be fine. So, I guess uh, they're gonna start. Sh they're gonna be able to start sh shooting a little later than everything else. But uh, that's alright. Oh, are you. Did you just automatically target these bolt throwers? Okay, these are gonna be hard to hit, but. That's a good target. I approve. Because I don't want them to sit and shoot at us. And... Yeah, there's some good aiming. Good job, fellas. Now I don't have to go back there. Oh, shit. I have two crane gunners. <laughs> Dummy. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna protect these. Actually, just... Stand over there. It's fine. We'll uh, move you <laughs> over to help. And come on, stop them! Stop them from. God damn it! Oh, wait, we're stopping them! Nope! <laughs> no! Okay, that's fine. Uh, just stop and shoot at whatever you can. Okay. We are killing them. That's good. Let's just make sure they really run. There we go. And let's get you in position to shoot again. There we go. Excellent. These guys are just murdering. We need to turn on that drum. There we go. And let's see if... Let's see if you want to drop a comet on these guys or if they're going to move. Are you staying? No, they're... Well, yeah, they're kind of... Oh, wait. They're moving in time. Yeah, they are. Boo. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, other... Lion. Let's scream at them a little bit. See if they want to break. Let's see if we... Oh. Oh, right. They got a... The bird got a vortex thing. Like a phoenix. Sweet. Send you on over there, and let's get 
a another comet right there. That should do some good work, though. Oh, hunt the supreme sorceress. There we go. Oh, and I missed the comet. But the comet hit very nicely. Yeah, let's just go and fight with you. Oh, actually, let's go and try out this uh, vortex ability here. I just want to see how it looks like, because I haven't looked at it. I've only known about it. Well, yeah, it looks pretty neat. It is a very pretty model. I really like it. And it's a pretty good vortex, it seems. But that is the end of them. So that's them pretty much dead. Just need to kill you. But you don't have anything left, and you shouldn't be able to do anything. Celestial General. Anything to anyone ever again. And yeah. Still no gold chevrons. The cannons almost do. So we could just grab fast hands because we're probably gonna get some chevrons eventually. Yeah, the cannons are gonna level up pretty soon. And I kind of won't stand your ground because it's kind of nice to have. Finally, Arkin Conduit. Um, yeah, none of that really matters. So let's grab everything. For that miscast chance reduction. And I guess rolling skies are gonna be good eventually. Eventually divine. we are gonna fight something that flies. Maybe. Maybe. And yeah, let's just grab Bandelier. You are kinda tanky, which is nice. And Arcane Conduit. Excellent. I was born. Getting all the good stuff now. Who hasn't moved? You haven't moved. Well, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else we want to get for Miao Ying? I mean, we can get a great moon bird. We could get a war drum. And... Oh, wait, no, I was going to hit that. And, right, apparently the magic attack thing is the unique one. Yeah, right. I think this one is just best, though. Because it... Gives your front line really good melee attack and it makes your back line real good. The 24 armor is fine, but yeah. No, I think I think we're pretty good there. We could grab some Dragon Breath Gunners, because they're sweet. But I think we're good. I think someone else is gonna maybe get some of those. So I guess we'll go to the Dragon's Gate. So you're gonna go up here, but I guess some extra defense in the Dragon's Gate is fine. I serve the so I guess this is fine. And by the way, what are our... Yeah, we're at research 90 now, so a little bit better. Ooh. That is actually really good. Like, all range stuff is Yin units. So yeah, that is real good. We should probably grab that. That is... Plus 20% is not nothing. Yeah, right. As soon as we're done with Nangao Forges, I think we're going for the... Just range damage. That is real nice. General. Yeah, oh, and we have a caravan to send. So, what looks good? Marienburg is pretty alright as usual. I guess we still haven't sent one over here. But that is a lot of red bit blips. That is one red and a couple of mediums. I would say that's fine. And uh, Festus is doing some work in the Empire, it seems. Yeah, let's send it to Marienburg. I think that's fine. So let's just pass the turn. And yeah, that's, that's the last... The last we'll see of them, I think. And there's a decently... Well, decently strong army from uh, Kolek, but it's not Kolek himself. But I feel like he should uh, he should show up soon. No, go away. I, I don't want any gross... Gross uh, chaos in my lands. Let's do it like that. You should heal up in between turns, I think. 
But I guess let's grab the replenishment just in case. And I think it's time for another army. I think it's definitely time for another army. Of late, two cats have been regular visitors to camp. The larger one, a golden furred male, solemnly watches your soldiers train, while the other, a silvery female, is more affectionate, bringing comfort to the disaffected. Uh, out walking late, unable to sleep, you find both in your path, gazing at you expectantly. So this is obviously, like, this is the, the emperor and, em and empress dragon thing just shape-shifting, right? <laughs> Probably. Throw them down! <laughs> well! <laughs> um, oh, I, I can't keep track of which buildings are yin and which are yang. I guess I build more, more yin. But I've also been trying to do a little bit of harmonizing. I just do nothing. I ain't got time for these. What? What's the wor worst that could happen? So, the Blessed Red are dead, the Kurgans are dead. It is almost time for another... For another attack again, though. Thought it would... Uh... Oh, you son of a bitch. I thought it would... Uh... Um... I thought it would go down more once we killed everything, but I guess it didn't. I think it did last time. Because we had like a good 20 turn or something before this happened again. But, oh well. Let's just go out in encamp stance. And start moving towards. I guess we can just wait until she gets to Bloodwind Keep and go over there. But there's not really anything to threaten me here either, so this is fine. So, let's get ourselves another lord. I do like the Dragon Blood and Gengun most, but we already have a Yin, so let's go for a Yang. I do like the Yang ones a lot, though. Just, the Wall of Fire is just so badass. So, how do we want to build this? Um, should we not be able to build... We should be able to build a Divine Lance Celestial battery, assistance. right? I didn't see it. We got Fire Rain Rockets, which we should definitely get. But where's the Celestial... Shouldn't that be here? Power in the, blood. the Celestial Cannon thing... Should be buildable here. But we needed this. But we have that. So where's the Divine Lance Battery? Child of the Am I just blind? Juggernaut, Grand Cannon, Firing Rocket, Compass, and War Drum. Where the hell? Huh. Okay, well that doesn't make any sense. That seems real bugged. Well, let's grab two of those, two of those. Just go real nice on artillery. Grab like three crane gunners. And we can grab some of those. A couple of those to hold the ground. Um, we can grab some. I mean, we got some real good shooting right now. Let's grab like two of those and just a couple of crowmen this is gonna be this is gonna take all of our income which I guess isn't a good thing <laughs> but I like it we can trade over to some of the other armies and do some good stuff oh right we got some characters though we can get a gate master and another oh do I only get High ranking from here. Yeah, okay. So I guess grab one of those. Yes, doesn't hurt getting another caster in there. And just get rid of both of those. And we'll grab one of these as well. Okay. Ooh, strategist. I, I never remember if this affects the... Lord as well. It doesn't say it does. I wish it would. Like, only hero or hero's army or lord in hero's army or something. 
So this annoys me. I guess, just in case, the other ones weren't that good. So let's go with that. And that's gonna take a while, but hey. I'm fine waiting a little bit. And we should still recover, yeah. We still recover there, so might as well go as far as we can. And I never moved you. Attention. So you start moving north. Just run you over to Snake Gate. It's gonna be fine. And right, we can probably just sell you. Because I, I don't need it. Important matters to consider. So that is called Li Zhu. Li Zhu. There we go. Okay, you really want that military alliance and all of your money, which isn't a lot, apparently. <laughs> you can also... Nah, that doesn't matter. Eh, just take your money. Oops. That's fine. I wish you could trade for, like, allegiance. Like, if you don't have money, how about a favor, right? I don't, I don't think that's unreasonable. And what happened to our income? That's... I got way lower. <laughs> ah, that's fine. We got such a big bank and we're still gonna start just slaughtering chaos. So I think we're alright. Oh, shit. Imric died. Well, that's not great. That's gonna eat into our trade. We need more trade partners. No one wants trade. Shit. Um, I'm not gonna be friendly with you because I don't expect... Uh, is it time? My brother is gonna like that. Greetings. Agreed. Not that I should care too much about that, but still. Oh, we already have trade with you. That is great. Alright. Well, we got a non-aggression pact with Carl at the very least. Maybe we can get some trade. That would be great. But yeah, maybe we can't afford this. <laughs> I guess we could just trim down the number of of celestial dragon guards. Well, it is going to get a little bit cheaper once we get rid of you. So I guess that's fine. And yeah, we're just going to We're just going to auto that. And we are going to raise it. Fuck that place. I hate it. Oh, god damn it. I wanted to have extra movement. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. But can you get there? No. So I guess we'll go in in camp stance over there. Just sit back, chill. You'll be fine. I guess just grab that. And I guess just grab that. Because you're just going to recruit stuff. You're never going to be an actual... You're never going to be a real boy. Child of nine. So let's start with Root Marcher. Let's grab Dragon's Breath. I guess we could have used the other guy to recruit this army. Make it a lot cheaper and then just switch over. But oh well. It's too late now. Let's grab the Wall of Winds and Fire. Because it's a badass spell and I like it a lot. And the dragon's breath is also a real good. Of a so you should be moving already. And you are... Just keep moving. Good, 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 good. Let's send you up there. Just have a... Have a look at this. Because they are going to start attacking the Fortress of Ice. But that's fine. Oh yeah. And yeah, there goes Fortress... Oh, there's Kolek! Hello, Kolek! Got a, got a couple of beef boys, but you also have a bunch of marauders, so... Not that bad. Alright. We can have that. Although, we are kind of hurt, so... We'll see. Might be more even than we expected. Oh, and Grimgor is a re regional power. Good for him! So... We'll recover a little bit. They shouldn't have anything too strong, so we should be able to take that. And Kolek is here. We could have moved a little bit this way, so... Yeah, just... 
stay close. So we can run up there and... Yeah, we can probably just march up there, reinforce and then trade. And we're gonna get rid of you for the Emperor's Chromen as well, I think. Sweet! That's gonna be some more money though. Let's grab more missile damage. That's gonna be sweet. And yeah, let's get you to the Dragon's Gate. We can go up and maybe you'll fight a Kolek. Maybe. You need some new stuff though. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of crane gunners here, but you already have... You already have one crane gunner. We could just get a bunch of crane gunners here and get rid of all the peasant archers and just go full on crane gunner. That would be kind of fun. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I think we can just pass the turn though, because we have moved you. Yep, yep, yep. So, keep moving. You're gonna be fine. And, oh, I thought it was just gonna zoom to you. <laughs> so that's fine. There's Kolek. Alright. That's fine. Let me sit you there. And I know it says low casualties, but we can still get lower casualties, I think. So let's just get that march stance in. Move you over. Just trade these for these. There we go. Now it should be even more decisive and low casualties. Ooh, we almost lost those. That is all right. So, raise that. And we can get rid of you now. There we go. So, I wish we could go into encamp stands here because uh, <laughs> I see Kolek eyeing me. And, I mean, there is a lot of juggernauts in there. Well, let's uh, put a pause in this for now. I guess give you... Give them a little bit extra... Hey, short victory! Sweet! But just grab a crane gunner. And I think we're gonna switch that as well. Because the Juggernaut isn't as good as a Fire Rain Rocket. I can tell you that. Let's do that at the very least. And we'll continue to recruit next turn. It shall be effortless. Oh, I guess... Let's move that over and we'll send you to recruit actually. And you can get some real ranged units. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna restructure a little bit. Because I think yeah. we need to. And I think you're gonna die from attrition. Well, in that case, I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna grab the uh, Jolly Green Giant instead. That's fine. Ooh, are you declaring? Demand a gift, huh? Well, you can underway basically anywhere to just pop in here. I think I'm just gonna let you fight the Chaos Wars for now. We're, we're pretty good on money. I'd I don't mind it. Go ahead. I want to focus on Chaos. So where is Kolek? I think we're gonna have to advance a little bit like this. Oh wait, I thought it said Chris Bastion is... Oh, imminent! Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, that's fine. Let's move you on over there. We'll grab you some... Uh, Jade Warrior Crossbows. That's gonna feel good to have. And you can just keep recruiting a little bit. So, let's keep getting some Celestial Dragon Guards. Because I still want to get a bunch. At the very least to give to our other armies. 
Because uh, these Jade Warriors aren't doing great. They keep dying, so... <laughs> There's cool. Oh, can we reach you? We can reach you in encamp stance. Or in march stance. Not sure if this is a good idea, because, uh, well... <laughs> he is... Uh, he is healthy and I am not. But I think... I think with... Okay. That doesn't seem right. But I'll take it. So we are gonna fight this. We are very hurt, so I'm a little bit worried because our front line is just gonna buckle. But we do have some Celestial Dragon Guards now. And, uh, I mean, Satan is just gonna <laughs> dumpster Kolek. He does have some misery resistance, but that's about it. Yeah, I think we're gonna be alright here. Alright. So, yeah, they're just setting up everything over there. So, we're gonna set up everything over here. Oh, and I think, yeah, we're gonna grab some of those artillery pieces from the new guy as well. Because we, we, we need a fire rain rocket instead of a juggernaut. So, let's put some of those over there. We'll put you, actually, we'll probably want you on the flank here. Because we want, we want to put these on the front line where they're most or least likely to attack, I think. So yeah, put these guys up like that. You can put some more over there. Just damn, that range is insane for crossbows. <laughs> 238, that's more than some artillery. That is nuts. So put you over there. We'll put you over there. Get some crane gunners and crane gunners. And artillery. There we go. And we'll... Uh, park you like that. Just uh, give harmony to these guys. It's gonna be fine. And right. These guys too. They're gonna be group 4. And you guys can just be group 3. But... Satang, you're just gonna... Are they moving up right away? Okay, let's actually start with this guy. Actually, yes, way more health than Kolek. Okay, never mind. Let's start with Kolek. So where do we... You need to stand like there. It's a little bit far forward, but it's alright. I guess if we... Oh, that's even further. Never mind. Let's sit there and shoot Kolek. I guess we should see this. Draw. And just off the side. All right. Well, you can you can keep shooting. Um, should probably start healing these guys up a little bit. There's a good shot. That's. Well. It's letting us just sit back and shoot at Kolek for a while. He's not feeling good. And I wish they... I wish they wouldn't do this. <laughs> just... Just attack. You dumb idiots. This is a real bad tactical decision for you. Okay, well, let's get one of those. Oh shit, that was a lot of damage on those guys. Okay, back off. Now we're getting cannon shots and stuff. So, let's just... Line up over there, and you'll start shooting Kolik again, I guess. Let's just dragon form this. See if we can get some good claws over here. Because they don't have a lot of shooting, so we're free to just fly around and do whatever we want. I guess they do have the... The hell cannon, but... Eh, it's not that bad. Let's see if we can get some good hits here. Would it be best? I mean, I would like to kill these Chaos Halberds. Let's cast over there. They walk real slow, like. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good damage. And I guess we can just uh, come back here and start killing this because they're advancing real slow. Kolik is almost dead, <laughs> so that's good. Marauders around are just falling. 
Uh, we can do another wind bow on these forsaken. Just pretty much annihilate them. That should pretty much take them out. Or not. If they would have hit, it would. But yeah, just pop that. Try to kill these quickly. It's gonna be fine. They are unbreakable, so it's gonna be a little bit annoying. But here comes the Celestial Arrows. And I think Kolek has one more shot in him. He's running away like a coward. But he draws. Aims. Oh, just over the scalp. Come on. You got one more shot in you. You're gonna be alright. He draws, he aims, and... Ooh, that is so close. <laughs> alright, well, I guess you're doing fine. The hell cannon is... Well, it's broken. Let's go and kill those guys. Did we... No, we didn't miss the last shot. Did we... Come on. One more snipe. Can you get it? Oh! <laughs> right out of range. And he gets them. Beautiful. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, let's... Buff these guys up a little bit. Because they obviously need a little bit... Okay, we're not in range. Buff these guys up a little bit. Because they obviously aren't doing enough damage. <laughs> Start shooting some Chaos Trolls. And I mean, what are you doing? You're just standing there. Oh, I don't know. Are you, are you trying to fight here or what, what's the plan? Well, we are gonna need to kill you because otherwise this battle is never gonna end. But he is at two HP and should be die, should be dying here. Yeah, it's gonna be all right. These should all be breaking. But yeah. They didn't even get to us, <laughs> as usual. And that was Kolek. I feel like... If they would have ran the whole way, I think we would have had to fight him. But, yeah. That's kind of disappointing. But I guess I know what they mean now with uh, low casualties. It's just I didn't expect the other result to think it was low casualties. I feel like they have to fix the AI a little bit, that if they are, like, severely outgunned and outranged, so that you're just gonna sit back and murder them with ranged stuff, they should really be more aggressive and actually just go for you, because it is a little bit ridiculous that we got to kill, or uh, bring Kolek down to, like, less than half health before he even started moving. Like, that's, that's a little bit dumb. They should really do something about that. Because that shouldn't be happening. But can we... Nah. We have no movement left. And um, I kind of want to go just a detour tour down south. Grab a turn of replenishment. And some more... Uh, like... A rocket, fire rain rocket. And uh, probably the... The... I think I want the Jolly Green Giant just to sit on the front line. Although we don't need it. We're gonna switch you for the Empress Crowman. I think we might just grab another crane gunner. <laughs> because why not? I think that's fine. I guess we can get there next turn over there instead, which I think is better. So yeah, you're pretty much almost ready ready to go. And I don't know if you need anything else. You might need another frontline unit. We'll see. Let's keep you running you over there. And let's just pass the turn. And we got ourselves another Kurgan thing happening. Alright. Well, that's fine. Um, you are just ready to go, I think. And we should send you on in there. This shall be no easy lesson. But, you can... you can reach that, so yeah, let's just go and kill him. Perfect victory, huh? I guess you are 
full of jade warriors and stuff. But yeah, I guess we're fighting this one. I guess I'm just kind of used to uh, Miao Ying fighting uh, these fights. So I just kind of assume that uh, it's going to be a super easy win. Actually, do we want to be on this side? Because most of their stuff are over there. But I kind of like this natural... Natural choke here. Or natural obstruction. Although, that's going to obstruct us more than anything. Yeah, you know what? Let's put you up over here instead. It's fine. Just, the ground isn't as, as I want it to be. And I think we can move up a little bit because I would like to start shooting right away. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Crane gunner up front. And you're, you're just gonna be right smack dab in the middle. Because you're, you're gonna be the champion on holding here. So, and uh, I guess you'll be a just harmony guy. Actually, we can probably put you like... No, okay, we, we kind of need to keep you right there. But we can send you up if we have to. That's gonna be fine. And like so. And we're gonna hide you. Can we hide you? We can hide you there. Move around. Yeah, I just kind of want to attack them in the rear. It's gonna be fine. There we go. Start shooting right away. And uh, okay, they're a little bit confused. I, <laughs> I don't know if they know what's going on. Well, we're doing lots of damage to that. Doing some damage to that. All right. Send you up in the back. Okay, now they've uh, <laughs> realized how they want to do this. So that's fine. Um, oh, this is actually... This is actually a really good talus. Well, it was a really good talus, but I didn't send it early enough. That's a pretty good talus, though. Let's hit it, like, right there. Six seconds. There, it's hard to aim, but I think I got it. And there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I think that's pretty good. So bring you back. Let's hit your javelins. And we are taking you out. Yeah, especially with the cannons. That's gonna be fine. And they're kind of avoiding... Avoiding our shotguns here, so let's fix that. Get a good shot on these marauders. And okay, they're they're sending stuff up the flank, so you you need to go and get there. Let's get rid of the harmony. That's fine. And okay, they're dying as soon as they get to the front line. Oh, good shots though, <laughs> and good shotguns. <laughs> Excellent. Let's send you up. Let's send you down there. Get a pretty good blossoming winds through there too. Don't know how you got through there, but that's fine. They're all gonna be blind at least. And they're gonna have tigers in their in their asses. Yeah, some real good hammer and anvil with tigers. What's not to love? Get in on you. And I guess we don't have... Well, we can... Nah. I guess if we can get the Talons or a Blossoming Winds, we can break this pretty quick here. But this is breaking. You're holding, though. That's good. And yeah, you're breaking. We just need to break you. But I think that's going to be army losses. If you're going down, you should be breaking here. Oh! Oh! There's some hunters over there, which is hit by the wind. Perfect. Let's turn you around and shoot there. But yeah, nothing should be coming back here because as soon as... Uh, as soon as they get hit by crane gunners or crossbows, they are... 
they're gonna start routing again. So I think we're good there. I don't know. I don't like how much you're holding here. I think you should be start running. There we go. Excellent. I don't know if they're gonna... I, th I, th I think most of the time when we've fought this, the Kurgans have fully died when we won. But I think there's been a lot of other results, so I don't remember. So I don't know if we need to chase, but I'm just gonna end it there. So, do we have to kill them again? Oh, yes. Yeah, full heal. Give me that. Okay, we're gonna have to kill them again. But at least you're not gonna be a threat anymore. You are pretty much done for. So, let's start moving back down. And we can still get to Dragon's Gate here. Yeah, just kill you. If we can get to Turtle Gate, that would be great. Oh, damn, you're hurt. Oh, well. If we can get there... Yeah, that's not happening, though. Pretty sure. Yeah. Let's just go and sit in Dragon Dragon's Gate, and you need to march. That's fine. I guess let's go in there. It's a little bit less or uh, replenishment. That's fine. Oh, another one of the Crystal of Kunlan. That's pretty neat. It's a nice little explosion. There we go. There it goes down to 56. Oh, and I guess if we fight these guys multiple times, it gotta, it's gonna keep going down. I guess that's a way to get rid of the threat. So, send you to Turtle Gate. Take these out. You're gonna be fine. And yeah, you can just go and trade. You'll go north. And I mean, you're, you're, you're fine. I was starting to move you back, but I think... I don't think I need to. Yeah. I think we're just gonna I was born to wield it. start giving some troop buffs. Storm oh, and you leveled again. Why are you leveling so much? Um, I think it's just shooting stuff Fate that has bonuses here. It doesn't buff the, the sky junk, though. Is that? Yeah, it's in the looming lanterns. I mean, why not? That's That's a 15 plus range. <laughs> That's pretty nice, actually. Let's grab that. We don't really... Well, we do have a stone cat now. It did kill the other one. And we don't have any gold chevrons on those, so that doesn't matter. So let's start leveling your stats. And let's start with melee attack. You're leveling automatically. I guess I want the... Watch the Watcher now. And that is just range for Sky Lanterns and Sky Junks. Oh yeah, let's go with that. That's gonna be good. And Watch by Watcher. I think we're just gonna auto-level you now, though. That's fine. That is fine. Demonic Incursion. Ooh, that's, that's a lot of blood letters. A rift tears through reality and demons disgorge, hungry for mortal souls. They quickly catch the scent of, a caravan, of the caravan and give chase. The only escape is to sacrifice some defenders and hope they can fend off the demons while the rest flee. Or if you wish to retain your honor, stay your ground and face the demons. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Unbreakable for the entire army? That's pretty nuts. Yeah, fight the hell spawn. And I guess we are gonna fight this manually. I mean, the blood letters are gonna take a lot of damage from peasant archers. And then we just have to deal with the chariots and I guess the hounds. But I think we should be pretty alright here. But I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.